Here's the number one way to hack the law of attraction to manifest anything that you want faster than you probably thought you could even do at all. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com wishing you an amazing day and let's dive right into the video. So you always hear about hindsight. Well, hindsight vision is 2020. So what is that? It's like being able to look into the past and analyze it, even though the past has already happened, it's currently not happening in this moment, you can go inside of the human psyche, you can go inside of your mind, you can imagine the past, and you can get a very clear picture of the past where it evokes the emotion so it's real to you, so it has meaning to you, and then you can analyze it. Oh, I could have done this, oh, I could have done that, oh, it could have panned out like this, et cetera, et cetera. Hindsight 2020. What about foresight 2020? If you can go into the past and imagine something, even though all you have right now is this present moment, if you could use thought energy to go into the past, couldn't you use thought energy to go into the future, get emotionally involved in it, imagine it, feel it all through your brain, your nervous system in the same way that you would when you're imagining the past or imagining something that might never have happened. You know, have you ever thought there was a robber in your house or something and you're like standing there all cu curled up? I remember one time I was like in seventh grade, I think it was the first time or one of the first times I was left home alone, maybe it was even earlier than that and I called the police because I thought there was a robber in the house. There was no robber but I was standing by the front door, baseball bat in hand, maybe before you had something like that or you know you thought your significant other was cheating on you and it wasn't happening or you're gonna get fired and then it never happened a year later you're still at the job something you thought was gonna happen you had anticipatory anxiety that's a psychological term anticipatory anxiety you can have anxiety anticipating a future that you think is in your life right now. I'm gonna die, there's a robber, oh, I'm gonna get cheated on, oh, I'm gonna lose my job and my house and I'm gonna get fired and I don't know what I'm gonna do. And it hasn't happened, but you've convinced yourself that it's happened. And then you create that reality. Well, you can use foresight, you can go into the future, imagine the future that you want, and you can bring it back to the present because anything that you can hold in your mind you can hold in your hand and you can have in your life. Everyone's focused on hindsight. I wish I would have done that. Oh, do you remember the good old days? Oh, this and that. Foresight. A year from now, here's what I will be in my life and here's what I desire. Here's what I want my life to be like. So many people are asking themselves this question. What would have happened if I would have done that? What if this happened instead? What about this? What do you want your life to be like? Where do you want to be in one year? What is your no limitation financial dream? What is your no limitation career dream, health dream, romance dream? How do you want your life to look? What, do you, what time do you want to wake up every day? What do you want to do during the day? How do you want to earn a living? How do you want to be creatively fulfilled? Where do you want to live? What kind of car do you imagine yourself driving? Go into the future and see it. Because if you can see it clearly and you know with certainty what you want and you have the belief in it, even if you don't know how it's going to happen, you set the creative forces of the universe in motion to bring the people, situations, circumstances, coincidences into your life to make that vision, dream, image, goal, or desire a tangible reality in your life. Much like when you plant an oak seed into the ground, it doesn't immediately become an oak tree overnight. But you put it into the ground, you put it into the soil, and it starts to set and attract to it the creative forces of nature to eventually turn this into an actual oak tree. An architect imagines a home. The home doesn't pop up the next day, but it sets the creative forces in motion to get the plans together, to get the resources together, the right people to come about to create it. It's the same way you can actually predict your future. In fact, Abraham Lincoln said the best way to create your future is to predict your future. You don't need to tell anyone your dream. 
You don't need to tell anyone your desire. This is between you and me watching this right now. What do you really want out of your life? Because I'm here to tell you, if you know what you want, you can have it. The trouble is most people psych themselves out after about what they really want, so then they never truly imagine and embrace their desire. Oh, I'd really like to be making $100,000 a year. Oh, I'd really like to double my hourly wage. Oh, I'd really love to move to San Diego, or I'd love to drive a Porsche, or I'd love to lose 40 pounds, or attract my soulmate, or go back to school and become a teacher, whatever it is. But then what happens is immediately a negative thought pattern kicks into gear and tells them why it's not possible, feasible, or realistic, or why they aren't smart enough, good enough, or deserve it, and then they just negate the desire. Uh, what about, and then they cut it in half. Uh, the dream of a making 100,000 a year or 100,000 a month goes into, I don't know, I mean, what if I could make an extra thousand dollars from last year? And we just start limiting ourselves. And I'm saying, I'm repeating what Michelangelo used to say. He said, the greatest tragedy in life isn't aiming too high in missing, it's aiming too low in reaching it. Stretch yourself, you have wings you don't know. There are creative forces in the universe that you are not aware of. See it in the future and bring it back into the present. Imagine it, feel it, affirm it. Because when you do, even if somebody needs to come from China or your soulmate is in Canada or your future business partner is in Africa or you're gonna walk down the supermarket and someone's gonna drop a can of beans and you're gonna pick it up and it's gonna be your business partner or your soulmate that you've never met yet. It doesn't, the creative forces in the universe will be set into motion. Have the courage to dream it. Have the courage to dream it, to believe it. If you can look into your past and imagine it, you can look into your future and imagine it and have foresight 2020. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com. Just wanna invite you to also check out my free success hypnosis down below, jakeshypnosis.com. Use the Second Mind Neuro Programmer. It's a piece of software we designed to literally rewire the brain so that you can attract what you want. So your neural, your neural circuitry is working in alignment with what you actually want. And it's thesecondmind.com down below. You can demo it totally for free. Uh, have a beautiful day. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, the like button. Wishing you an awesome day. Hashtag best life ever down below if you watch this video all the way through. Wishing you an amazing day. Foresight 2020, imagine your future. You can create it.